Project Nashville is a year-long look at how Music City's unprecedented growth is impacting us all. This week, we investigate the extent at which Nashville is allowing the city to grow, using millions, I should say issuing millions of dollars worth of building permits literally every day. Now, all that growth is threatening to change the character of some of Nashville's better established neighborhoods. Fox 17 News' Sarah Small shows us how residents in the city are working together to lessen the impact. The quiet, quaint Sylvan Park neighborhood is treasured by those who call it home for its location and its people. We love it. We love the convenience, the ability to get around the city, um, how close we are to everything. It is a fabulous neighborhood. We have sidewalks, we have involved neighbors, we have, it's beautiful. Retaining Nashville's beauty during its unprecedented growth is the challenge. Project Nashville discovering Metro Codes approved nearly one and a half billion dollars worth of building permits. Yes, billion with a B. In just the first three months of this year, it's a record amount, averaging out to $16 million per day of new commercial and residential development. I am astounded by that number, and uh, you know, a lot of that I think is great. I love to see more people coming to the city, and I love to see growth here. Uh, I just hope we can keep asking the questions like, are we managing this the right way? Can I have a show of hands for those who are in support of this measure? Can I have a show of hands of those who are in opposition to this measure? Growth management is the focal point of a new development proposed in the West End, near that quiet Sylvan Park neighborhood we showed you earlier. We do not want a giant building looming over our neighborhood. Developer GBT Realty tells me it plans on recreating this area here on Murphy Road, doing away with the Fifth Third Bank and adding this in its place. And it's really just the sheer size of it all worrying the people who live nearby. It's the size, the density uh, of what's going to go in. We're talking about about twice what would be allowed by the base zoning. And you're talking about adding that to an area that's already really congested. GBT plans include a new hotel, retail space, and condos, and some are happy about it. It's going to bring amenities to the neighborhood that I think are nice. It's going to bring retail, it's going to bring a hotel, it's going to bring you know, additional condos and density. Those opposing the project have made themselves heard. After a year of working with the nearby community, GBT is making some concessions, changing the look of their development and removing planned offices in favor of condos to reduce traffic. GBT Managing Director Jeffrey Page says, We believe this to be one of the most significant community input processes a private development has ever gone through. I am glad that they've been willing to make some concessions. I wish they were willing to make concessions about the size. Mm -hmm. uh, how can we get around with all this? Neighbors hope there's still a way to preserve a suburban feel in the shadow of progress. Developer GBT tells Project Nashville they'd like to thank the neighbors for their continued partnership. Project Nashville, happy to bring you this story of present and future Nashville working together to accommodate one another. Got a story idea for Project Nashville? Email or call us. Our contact information is under the Project Nashville banner on our homepage, fox17.com. For this week's Project Nashville, I'm Sarah Small, Fox 17 News.